Today is October 4th, on which we commemorate Francis of Assisi, friar. The son of a successful silk merchant, Francis would grow up to be a typical wealthy young man of the late 12th and early 13th century. His life would be defined by luxury and excess, punctuated by soldiering in the seemingly constant wars between the bickering Italian city-states. It was during one such conflict that Francis' spiritual awakening began. Over the course of the next few years, he would renounce his father's wealth and all possessions, and devote himself to living among and serving the most poor and wretched of his community. In the early days of his life of poverty, Francis spent most of his time living as a beggar and working to restore the abandoned and dilapidated churches which dotted the countryside around Assisi. Then, in 1209, he answered a call to expand his ministry and began to travel around Italy as an itinerant preacher. Before long, Francis attracted a following that would become the Friars Minor. He wrote a rule of life for them and applied for official recognition from Rome. This was received in 1210 and the Franciscan Order was born. Together with his ever-increasing brotherhood, Francis spent his life living in total poverty and preaching the gospel wherever he went. Francis was always looking for ways to carry his message beyond Italy. In 1219 he traveled to Egypt during the Fifth Crusade and crossed enemy lines to preach. So impressed was the Sultan that he graciously heard Francis' message, and though unconverted, he allowed Francis to return unharmed. Upon returning home, Francis realized that his small order had grown into a great movement that he could no longer manage. He turned over leadership to more capable administrators and devoted the rest of his days to prayer, preaching, and good works. He died on this day in 1226. It did not take long for Francis to achieve mythical status among the faithful. He became regarded for his devotion to the cause of the gospel in every sphere of life, especially in self-denial and works of mercy. He became renowned for his humble Christ-likeness shown to every person and indeed every creature he encountered. Francis of Assisi is to this day one of the most lauded and venerated followers of Christ that has ever lived. Let us pray. Most High, Omnipotent, Good Lord, grant your people grace to renounce gladly the vanities of this world, that following the way of blessed Francis, we may, for love of you, delight in your whole creation with perfectness of joy, through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen.